Newton's third law of row stalking. For every buck you see at the start of the buck season, there's an equal and opposite doe you will see at the end of the season. And that's about now. If you are out after bucks, you'll need to be lucky. Paul Childerly believes he is lucky. Tonight's a night. Come on, shut the doors. Come on. Yeah. We are stalking a small <laughs> private estate in Gloucestershire. It is stuffed with deer. Honestly, look at any film we have made with Paul over the last six years and you will see buck after buck. But today, you're not going to believe this, they are all, and I mean all, does. So much so that the outing runs into days. We see dozens and dozens of row, but all does, most with kids afoot. Happily, there are muntjac here. We just spotted a, a muntjac in his plantation, and uh, don't particularly want them here because. Uh, uh, is not welcome because there's a lot of young shrubs and a lot of uh, young trees and the landowner dislikes them big time so uh, I'm just going to see if we can get it it looks like a, a small buck but I'll have a better look when we get down there if it's not already gone it does what its species is famous for normal man jack disappear we get close to more deer but this time it's pheasants working against us Yeah, the buck and a doe, they split up. The buck's gone back into this, this block we've just come from. It's actually quite a good one to shoot because they're malform. So I don't particularly like keeping malforms, but uh, he might well come out. Even though he's spooked now, we've got another hour or so, so he might come back onto this. We stalk on, but as usual, we go home to the sound of farm machinery working into the night. Paul and his clients shoot plenty of deer between our outings, but never when we have a camera anywhere near him. What day is it today? Oh yes. So what's the plan, Paul? Okay, right, plan of action. Um, we're gonna have winds coming in from the east and we're right in the heart of the wind at the moment. So what we're gonna do, if we go down this track here, push right round to the far side of the, the block of woodland and then come back up. And this is where the story gets amazing because it actually goes according to Paul's plan. Plan went to plan. There was a muntjac down on the left hand side. As you said. Yeah, he's actually on the right hand side. A load. <laughs> yeah, nice little buck actually. So yeah, perfect. You didn't have long to have a look. How do you how do you know what he's like that that picture? Oh, I don't know, I suppose just years of just seeing them I suppose. I obviously see them every day. Um, back in Bedfordshire, so you just yeah, estimate I I don't know how cracking uh, how good he is, but I'd say he's you know see why it's that much. He's not a medal, he's a little rep, so it'd be good. With a deer on the deck, all previous stalking outings are forgiven. You're probably thinking, I don't want to go stalking with Paul. But you should. Say this for him, he won't give up. Visit childerlysporting.co.uk